Now we're going to discuss WordPress versus other CMS options that are out there. So what CMS options are out there? Well, first off, there are many different options. There are a ton of different ones and there's new ones every single day it seems like. But here are the top four CMS solutions that I personally have looked at and recommend and probably kind of the top. Now you may disagree, but these are kind of the top ones for kind of the area that we'll be working on as far as websites. The first is Squarespace. Squarespace started a few years ago and what they do is they focus on making websites as easy and simple as possible with point and click, drag and drop, really uber, uber easy, simple. Now, it sounds great and they are really awesome and especially lately have been great, but the issue with Squarespace that I have is that there are some things you just can't do with them. I mean, they're great for some applications, but for more complex situations, for things that you want more control over, they're probably not the best solution. And you'll just have to decide on a use case by use case basis whether or not it's for you. And then there's WordPress. WordPress is really simple to use, similar to Squarespace, but at the same time, it provides a lot more functionality, a lot more support from the development community for different things, for extendability and all kinds of powerful resources. And it's still simple and easy to use. And then there's Joomla. This is where I actually started developing websites was in Joomla a few years ago. And Joomla is a very powerful platform. It's really good, but at the same time, it's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more of a learning curve than WordPress. It can be very beautiful, you can do things, but it just is a little bit more complicated to do what you want. But at the same time, there's powerful applications that Joomla can do that WordPress just really struggles to, to meet that demand. But for most cases, and I would say even 95 or 98% of the time, WordPress is gonna be able to build the kind of website that you need. But for those special cases, Joomla can be a very viable option. And if you just like Joomla, then you can go with that. But this course is obviously about WordPress. So that's what we're going to be learning. Now, Drupal is a much more powerful solution than any of these, actually. But at the same time, it's very, very complicated. And the learning curve is huge. Drupal is very powerful. And some of the most powerful sites on the web that are the most complex are using Drupal, but at the same time, you have to really be a high-end developer in Drupal to really get done what you want, and the learning curve is very, very, very steep. So I hope this gives you an overview of the different CMS options that are out there, and again, I want to focus on WordPress in this course, but that's not to say that other CMSs aren't a viable option for you. So just evaluate what your needs are, do a little bit more research, and you'll be able to pick that. But again, WordPress 95 to 98% of the time is going to do exactly what you want. It's going to be powerful enough and you own the content versus something like Squarespace where it's hosted on their site and it's kind of restricted to them. And it's going to give you the power that you need, the ease of use, and the control that you want. And so that's why I personally recommend WordPress.